In this video, we are going to see the topic of creating purchase order in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. If you have been following my profile, I am Sriram Sivashankaran. I have been posting videos related to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation, supply chain and uh, finance related videos. So we start off with procurement and sourcing and uh, we covered most of the topics related to procurement and sourcing module. And in today's video, we are going to see a high level overview on how to create a purchase order, complete the product receipt and then uh, create an invoice for it. Let's quickly get into this video. And if you want to get regular updates, please do follow my profile. Okay. So in Microsoft Dynamics 365, in order to create a purchase order, navigate to procurement and sourcing module, and then under purchase order, click on purchase order. And uh, once the purchase order inquiry page opens up, here you need to click on new button. So this will create a purchase order. This will open up the purchase order page. So creation page actually. So here you have to select the vendor. You can select the vendor, whatever the vendor for whom you want to raise the purchase order. And then it, it actually fetches the delivery address and other details from the vendor master and also the currency details. And you need to update the select the site and varos for which you want to bring the material. So you can select any varos. I am selecting the varos 24. So this once I select the varos, the site automatically gets populated based on the varos tagged in the based on the site tagged in the varos and then if you by default one setup which i want to highlight here is the purchase type in my earlier video also i talked about this on how to create a written orders maybe you can check that for more details the purchase type has to be purchase order if it is created as a journal it is just a record entry created in the system and uh, no financial transactions or physical transactions happens when a journal is created and if it is written order, if you are sending written material back to vendor, then it has to be created as a written order. But right now, we are going to receive the material from the vendor. So we are creating it as a purchase order. Then now I click on OK. So based on the number sequence, this will create a separate purchase order ID. And then a purchase order is created. So once the purchase order is created, we need to add the lines. We click on add line and click the item number for which you want to place the order. And let's say this is the item for which I want to place the order. I select the item from the item master. I have also given a video on how to select multi hundred lines in five seconds based on the item list option in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Please do check out if you want to quickly add multiple line items, right? And then um, just enter a quantity. Let's say I want to order for thousand. If you have created a trade agreement, then the price will be fresh from the trade agreement, or else you can manually enter the price whichever you want to order. And then once you update the price, ensure that the dimensions which are active or captured in the product tab, if required, if you want to update any delivery related information like delivery date or lead time or over delivery or under delivery, over delivery is generally the percent. Let's say now if I have given thousand quantity, if I'm entering 10%, then up to 1100 100 quantity system will allow me to complete the product set. So if it, I put the 10% in, under delivery then any if i try to close a purchase order for a quantity 899 then system will not allow me to close the purchase order until unless i complete the receiving 900 quantity i will not be able to close this purchase order so that is the feature of uh, over delivery and under delivery so anyway currently i'm not giving it so this is already approved so i'm quickly going to the purchase section under uh, actions and i confirm this purchase order so we have created a purchase order for compact and we added a line item and we entered the quantity and now we are confirming the purchase order so which means a, a physical transaction entry will be will happen in the system so a quantity against this purchase order line item has been created and confirmed against the purchase order so now the status will change from approved to confirmed so if workflow is not enabled, then generally that purchase order is created with the approved status. If it is enabled, then probably you need to complete the workflow process. We may discuss that in future video regarding how to create a workflow. Now this purchase order is confirmed. Now let's say after maybe three, four days time, a vendor has sent the material to us. So now I need to go to receive section, click on product receipt to complete the product receipt for this particular purchase order so now i click on click on product receipt now i need to give the product receipt reference let's say i am giving 
uh, reference which vendor has shared to me so this is the reference which vendor has shared to me so i want to use the same reference and complete the grn if you want to do a registration by which you want to calculate the batch number or serial number then you can do a registration by quickly getting into this page you click on add registration line and a batch number if you want to select a specific batch number then you can do that or simply click on confirm registration by which system will automatically generate the batch number based on the batch number code so so the batch number is generated so if you want to know how the batch number is generated let's say if i get into the item number there is a automatic batch number generation code which need to be tagged in the item master so if i get into the release products of this item number and i just scroll down under manage inventory section if you go to manage inventory you see batch number group is generated based on this particular batch number sorry batch number is generated based on this batch number group so once this is tagged then that's the reason the batch number is automatically generated for us so now the batch number is generated the item is registered i have entered the product receipt number also now i click on okay so this will complete the grn in our system which means we have physically inverted the material in our warehouse warehouse number 24 so we have completed the product receipt now we need to post the invoice so once the product receipt is completed you can view the receipts which are posted in the journal section i go to the lines so here i can view so thousand is ordered thousand is received now right so now i need to complete the invoice posting in order to complete the invoice posting click on invoice go to invoice section and uh, you need to give the invoice reference so you can also see the status of the purchase order is completed is updated as it received and it is now once it is invoiced it will be updated as invoiced so now for thousand quantity i want to complete the invoice i will need to give an invoice number i'm just giving the invoice number the same reference and then uh, i need to give an invoice date i'm giving it as today's date and then uh, if you want to match the product receipt actually the current match status is passed so that's the reason i'm not doing a match product receipt process over here even still if you want to do it you can click on match product receipt and then if there are multiple lines you can select this, those specific lines and complete the process so that only for those lines you will be completing the invoice journal posting and then uh, once again if you go back and check the match status has to be passed otherwise you will not be able to post the invoice and uh, it may require a separate approval process uh, which is required so we are not getting into it because we are just simply looking at uh, a standard procure to pay cycle so once this is done you can post the invoice and once the invoice is posted then this particular purchase order is is available for making the payment to the vendor so now we are posting the invoice the status will change from received to invoiced so that's what we will see once it is posted so this is the standard process of creating a purchase order receiving the materials through the grn and then completing the invoice in microsoft dynamics 360 so the status has changed to invoiced right so if we check the transactions i will go to basic uh, inventory transactions for this item now you can see the its reference and the receipt is purchased so the thousand quantity has been purchased and you have the reference even if you go to the on hand you will be able to see this and uh, the transactions are updated so this is the standard process of creating a purchase order in dynamics 365 finance and operation if you want to have a view on about other options which are available please do follow my profile and uh, i wish to see you in another interesting video in of microsoft dynamics 365 thank you